What's happening everyone, Gaming for Life here, and today I just want to point out to you guys that I do have a little bit of sad news and exciting news for the end of the video, but before I do get to the video, I just want to say that make sure you guys use support or creator code, Gaming for Life 17 underscore, in the item shop, and let's get to it. So as you guys noticed that yesterday, I showed you guys I got all my challenges done, as it shows right here. And there is one more. Last challenge is Shoka Campfire. You have to do this two times. And we're going to go to a location on the map over here that has a campfire. And you have to stroke it two times. The first one's free and the, the second one you have to actually put the wood in. So we're going to go over here. I don't know if it shows the campfire, but we're going to go that way, right? So let's get to it. Right at this location. Because a lot of people don't even land there, so why not? Alright, so I just landed. I'm gonna get a gun before I even get down. So I can defend myself. Someone's at you there. I doubt anyone's gonna be down there. Alright, so we just gotta stroke the campfire. First one's free. Second one costs 30. We gotta do this another time, so we gotta let it go out. Or not. There we go. So, challenge complete. We should have got a wrap. So we're going to go ahead and leave, and I have two sad and good news to talk about you, to you guys at the end of this video. So once we do that, I'll talk about that. I'll start talking about it. Alright, you guys. So we just got our wrap, and we got our 10,000 season XP plus a wrap here, and it says it's confetti wrap. It looks a lot different from what it looks like from there. We're going to go ahead and equip it. And we're going to go and check in our locker. I'm going to put this for all. This kind of does feel like New Year's wrap, but it's confetti. I don't get... Hmm. I know for a fact we're going to be getting our, our um, New Year's... I mean, not yours. Our July rewards pretty soon because when it gets close to July it's probably when we're gonna be getting it or we'll get it in the month of July anyways I do have some news to talk about to you guys about um Johnny Depp and Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga so I will give you guys the good news first there's two good news that I will talk to you about one sad news that's might not be any good news but you know let's get to it so anyways Right here, you guys, you can see that um, on a Reddit, I found I found this on Reddit, and it's talking about, like, uh, I forget. Well, we're just going to read this all together. So it says, possible release date for Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, leaked by Geek Store. Okay, so basically, that's what I was trying to say. So it's right there. So the Geek Store is the one that leaked the release date, and it looks like it's going to be the 2nd of March, which would be out for everybody and so far um this one right here has always been re leaking leaking release dates and they tend to keep keep at that release date it hasn't changed so hopefully this is it this is probably some good news for people that are trying to get the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga game as soon as possible and this is probably going to be really early because we, we're all probably going to be getting it in May and March is really close, but it's not like where May is. So we have to wait an extra months. So to avoid any confusion, the date format is DDMMYY, meaning date, months, and year. So that that would be the second of March. The store is pretty reliable, or should I say relatable, as it is among the biggest in Greek. And the uh, release date matches the release window announced at gamescom so this is probably why they didn't really like announce it we're probably going to be getting something within a couple of months from now once january hits and we're in january we should be getting something right i mean as it gets close to the march release date i don't see why not but a lot of people are speculating that um they don't think it's going to be good because they didn't show anything at gamescom maybe they did maybe they're saving it for us you know they don't want to give everything away i mean the game's working so hard to game to make it a better big game for Star Wars. 
fans and people that like playing Lego games. So, I would assume they're trying to do all their best. And I'm pretty sure confident that they do have a lot of time on their hands right now because of the pandemic. Now, I've got to get in detail what it is because I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So, yeah. So, um... The hope in the world should be big, and I can't wait to go to Genosis, because that one is my favorite one to go to. I don't know which one is yours, but there's a lot of Adventure World locations you can go to, and a lot of characters to unlock, plus vehicles. And I think you can unlock vehicles too by saving up for um, uh, credits, I believe. You use the credits to buy vehicles and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And that's how you do it in Star Wars way. But I guarantee that there you can still use it for you can still buy characters with the studs because that's how it's always been. All right, so the next one right here is this is. All right, let me make this big. I don't know. All right, hold on. One minute. All right, so we read that and then it says okay. Uh huh. So the release window announced that GamesCon was Q1, Q2 at 2021. And it did say Spring 2021 on it, but Spring could have been March or May. I choose you like when it set their window there. So a lot of people are like, I don't know about everyone else, but I'm pretty sure they're right where I'm at. Like. It's driving me crazy not knowing when it's going to be released. But trust me, guys, the release is going to be well worth the wait. You just got to think, the more time they're not releasing it, the more time they have time to work on it, figure out how to make things better. And you don't want a, a rushed game because, you know, what happened to Cyberpunk, I feel like it was good, but it was it was a little bit, like, rushed for me because I noticed there's a lot of bugs on there. You get some glitches. My brother told me he had glitches and stuff like that, and... He, he likes the game. I like the game too, so I don't want anyone hating on me. So you guys can see my unboxing for that if you guys want. But it's pretty good. I do plan on playing the rest of it on pay PlayStation 5 in June or May. I do get it in that release. So yeah. So now we're going to be talking about uh, the sad news for our good buddy here, Johnny Depp. Now, um, it says right here, we want him back. How many of you guys want him back? Because I cannot see myself watching another Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Well, our good buddy here, Johnny Depp. We need a captain, right? This is my captain right here. Captain Jack Sparrow. Save. So, if you guys want to help out with this, you guys, there is a petition. I'm going to put it in the links down below so you guys can click it. And make sure you guys read which links it is because I separate the links so you guys... You guys are organized and you guys know which one it is so anyways right here this is what it looks like and as you guys see the top I kind of fit it on the bottom so I had to move that cut the bottom and put it up there so you can actually post it to your friends on Facebook so they can get the petition or you can send it in VIA whatsapp and they can get the description I mean the link so that way they can they can help the petition grow so Johnny Depp is actually getting good support right now I hope it keeps going but as of now, it looks like um, looks like the Harley Quinn um, Joker. I mean, the Harley Quinn character from um, the Suicide Squad slash the Harley Quinn movie Birds of Prey. She is gonna be reprising her role as a female uh, pirate in Captain um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, not many people want that. Some people do, and I just, I don't, I can't see it happening. Let me do that, it'll be easier. So, this is who's going to be playing in Pirates of the Caribbean, taking Jack Sparrow's place. But I don't see that happening. It's not going to work. Just bring back Johnny, please. And we can't do that without the support of everybody, so we got to work together. Have people want him back, have people don't, but we just need 30 million people who use the change.org to start the sign and share petition to make a difference. And it says here, thank you for joining because I already signed it. Hopefully, best of luck, Johnny, because he did lose in a court. 
a court um a court thing that he had with his ex and she cut his finger off and all that stuff but I'm not gonna show pictures of that because of YouTube how it is so I just want to say that I should actually like put a link for like so you can see both sides you can see how like scared he is of the trauma in his eyes I mean he kind of like smiles a little bit but he tries well it doesn't do it as much as um his ex does his his ex was lying she was changing his story she was even um by the way his ex if you guys don't know it's a girl that played in Aquaman she played as um Mura from Aquaman and her name is Amber Heard or something like that they'll get me they'll get mad if I said it wrong but I can care less what her name is if I get it right or wrong because for right now she actually ruined Johnny Depp as being Captain Jack Sparrow and he had nothing to do he's a good man he there's a whole bunch of people actors that even Robbie Downey Jr. he he defended him too he would tell them that he wouldn't do that and I believe that too even though I don't know him personally Alright, sorry about that. My computer popped up with a pop-up error. Had to close that pop-up. It's a vi antivirus thing. It's fake. So anyways. What was I saying? Oh yes. So, as I was seeing the video, it was just like... I was looking at Amber Heard's side first. Like, don't watch Johnny Depp's side first. Watch Amber Heard's. And then I rewatched it. Like, Amber... I mean, I rewatched it on Johnny Depp's side. Then Amber Heard's. It still looks like it's Amber Heard's. That's doing all the damage and he was all set up it was like it wasn't even like a fair court trial thing that he had for like whatever the reason was I forget what the name of it was but oh abusive abusive something he was he's they, they called him a wife beater beater and he is not also I just want to say that I really hope you get it John Depp we, we can help you out but um, we can only do so much because all we need is a petition and they do listen to the petition on the site so please you guys support Johnny Depp on the petition for here because it's gonna help him and guess what Amber Heard she didn't even she she said she made a petition for like people in a hospital so she'll should give she give money to the people that are in a hospital like sick and that have like you know like cancer and all that stuff but Johnny Depp he was he was being really good because he he's a good person unlike her no one likes Amber Heard's and I just want to say that oh my goodness I would hate for someone else to be her husband Amber Heard's because I'm glad they're they're not together so I, I guarantee that if, if everything goes good and they forget about this, she go back to the way it was, Captain Jack Sparrow rising in the seas and looking for the devil's triangle. And the fountain of use. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this because many people are aware and the other half is not really aware of this. So I just want to point out if you guys see a trailer for it and it does come out, and it happens to be the actor that played Harley Quinn, Margaret something. Forget her last name. I think I'm saying that right. Anyways, I do believe that we still have hope for Giant Depp. I'll put the links in the description down below. I'm not trying to make this video long because, you know, it is a, a, um, a challenge video. And I just want to put the news out there for you guys. I didn't feel like making a big video on it, but, um... If you guys have any questions, I'll comment down below and I'll even give you guys my thought on what I think about it because I have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not trying to make the video long. There's so much stuff to go over and I got 22 minutes on this video. So, what better yet to do, let's say thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you guys use my support a creator code, which is Gaming for Life 17. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed because half of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel. So make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss out whenever my next upload is or video.
Thank you for watching. I'm Gensfoy17.